Dungard is one of the most memorable DLCs between many RPGs and definitely a favorite DLC for some of the Elder Scrolls players, together with Dragonborn and of course Shivery Niles. But as it happens with many of us as for today, we played through it to the hell and back so many times. Thankfully though, there are plenty of badass mods oriented directly on this DLC, and that's today's video topic. With a short but comprehensive mod list, you will be able to remaster almost every aspect of Dungard DLC. Better textures for NPCs and armors, overhauls for castles, dialogues and even storyline, new and improved artifacts, new armors and weapons, spells and abilities and even a boss fights. Some of these mods will make just as subtle improvements, while others bring a brand new content and make this DLC gameplay shine as new. Moreover, this list covers you from both sides, should you prefer to play as a Dungard or as a Vampire. Let's take a look. Let's start from visual improvements. Serana Holic is hands down the best mod for Serana appearance. A high poly head, 4K textures and a great artistic taste. In the installer, you can pick details as for the skin look, eye color, etc. In addition, there are four versions of the mod, each one with different face look. I would personally recommend version 1.6 or 1.5, but that's of course totally up to you. Lastly, don't forget to also install Valerica improvement from the mod files section. As for the rest of the named Dungard NPCs, there is a whole covering mod for both Vampire and the Dungard NPCs. Pandorable NPCs Dungard overhauls visual appearance of almost 13 named NPCs. All the main ones like Isran, Harkon, Vertir, etc., but uh, without Siran, of course, and many secondary ones, giving them much more beautiful, up-to-date look resulting in a huge boost of quality compared to vanilla look, but without going over the top at the same time. The Dungard armor and weapons are pretty iconic, and it would be a deadly sin to not give them best look ever possible, right? Frankly, HD Dungard armor and weapons is exactly what you need. Improved models, super crisp textures and even new glowing ruined appearance for the unique Dungard weapons. Now to the castles and other place to stay at. Immersive Fort Dungard is a new mod from the author of the best Winterhold college overhaul ever, and similar in its glory, making an aesthetic overhaul of Day Spring Canyon and of course castle itself, both exterior and interior, making it look like an actual castle and a base of operations for vampire hunters. Extra fortifications, a main gate, alchemy tower, farming areas and greenhouses for exterior, training areas, chapel, bathroom, prison and some other stuff for interior. The fort is being upgraded gradually as you go through the questline, being rebuilt immersively and logically. NPCs have updated AI packages to make their new routines, and interiors also actually have the transparent windows, so you can see the things outside from them. But what if you want to have your own base, being a member of a Dongard or Lord Harkon's Court? Hasseldor, Ravenholm and the Homewood are at your service. Made by talented Eleonora, the Queen of Player Homes, Hasseldor is an actual castle, spacious, menacing and rich, fitting the royal vampire needs. Want something cozy but smaller and more practical? Raven Home is for you then.
and for the member of your Dungard, there is a small but highly lore-friendly and cozy vampire hunter hideout. All three of them, besides being extremely pleasant to stay in, provide all needed crafting stations and the containers needed for your adventures. While giving better textures to iconic vanilla DLC armor is surely great, it is still better to stand out, right? Two epic sets of armor for a noble paladin and a deadly vampire knight are waiting for you. Artifacts the Breton Paladin, if you are playing as a Dungard, and Volkehar Knight Vampire Armor for a Bloodsucker. The Paladin set features all custom models and textures and unique uh, effects for the items, as well as sword and mace weapons in addition to the armor set. And Vampire Knight features armor set immersively mashed up from vanilla assets and three armor variations, each with own unique passive effect. The Dungard Arsenal gives a needed functional expansion. First of all, it expands the Steel Arsenal, adding new thematic swords, axes and hammers with improved special effects. Secondly, it adds 4 new holy spells for you and the Dungard NPCs to use. The close-up damaging sun spell, a spell to sanctify the ground so undead are taking damage walking it, exploding holy runes and of course a long-range sun rays. Finally, it logically improves the equipment, AI and spells used by the Dungard, so they are much more dangerous enemies in combat now, especially against you should you walk the vampire pass. Dungard and Clan Volkihar epilogues add a short but logical quest to the end of both Dungard and Vampire side of questlines, to track down the artifacts exclusive to the other side, find and retrieve Ring of the Erudite, Ring of the Beast, Amulet of the Gargoyle, Amulet of Bats, Ancient Vampire Armor Parts and Bloodstone Chalice as a member of a Dungard and all the Dungard rune weapons together with the Dwemer crossbow schematics as a vampire, going through immersive chain of letters and hints and of course new boss fights. This little mod logically fills the gaps and adds a finishing touch to quest lines that always should have been existing from the start. The Fabled Artifacts is one of strong reasons to play through the game, and Dungar DLC is not an exclusion. Yet, same as with many other vanilla artifacts, their actual effects were often underpowered and just not useful in the late game. I have already reviewed the Reliquary of Myth on my channel in the past, but the key moment here is between dozens of artifacts improved, it also covers each and every Dungard artifact, both vampiric and the Oriel ones, making them a truly worthy reward to obtain, and so go through the quests in previous mod to hunt them down, by the way. The Oriel shield and bow are now extremely useful in combat and especially against undead, while vampiric artifacts will seed chaos and destruction to any enemies in general in the clothes of a vampire. Serana Dialogue Add-on and Serana Dialogue Edit, yeah, very similar names and similar mods, which also work even better together. They drastically expand Serana's dialogue arsenal, so she reacts to quests, events and places you visit much more frequently and logically. But there is more. There are hundreds of new fully voiced lines, brand new dialogues during not only Dungar's storyline and Serana's own mentions about her family and past, but also about the main quest, faction storylines and even Dragonborn DLC. Lastly, you can now actually start building your relationships with Serana, starting a romance with her. The amount of new lines and pure immersion from these mods is so vast that they alone are worthy to replay many game quest lines and not only Dungard. Playing as Vampire in Vanilla Skyrim was really fun, but with Sacrosanct, it is just a brand new dimension. If you are playing as a vampire, this mod alone will be a game changer for you, both roleplay and power gaming wise. 
Doses of new abilities, powers, blood magic system, over 30 new and improved vanilla perks for both vampire lords and the human vampire forms. New types of blood potions and even different vampiric abilities depending on your race. But there is more. A role-playing mechanics like a questline to feed on the most powerful individuals in Skyrim, vampire age and rhyme progression system both allowing you to gain even more dreadful abilities. Sacrosanct offers so deep system to customize your vampire character that you can make a dedicated builds for both human and vampire lord forms as well as warrior vampire knight or for example a vampire blood magic overlord. Lastly, it also distributes some of the new abilities and perks to enemy vampires in the game, so even if not playing as a vampire yourself, it will still improve your gameplay in this way. Ready for something mind-blowing? Remember the Reaper, a special boss in Soul Cairn. Remember how disappointing a fight with him was. The Reaper was told to be almost like a god of death incarnated, a mythical being so powerful almost as a Daedric Lord himself, but in practice he was just a ghostly droger spitting afflicted poisons. No challenge, no worthy rewards whatsoever, nothing. The GRIM, or just Grim, makes a next level overhaul for this boss fight. Not only Reaper becomes much more powerful, extremely dangerous for with unique look and abilities, the fight itself now has several stages and takes you to the Reaper's own realm, involving a bleak and beautiful level design, mini bosses which you can fight to weaken him, and generally brand new experience with, of course, new custom and worthy rewards and an ability to revisit Reaper's realm and challenge him again. This is probably simply the best boss overhaul ever made in Skyrim modding history. That's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in comments if so and share your own favorite mods when it comes to Dungard DLC. Take into account that a few honorable mentions are listed in the video description in addition to this list itself, as well as some dedicated mod reviews should you know more about them. There is also a dedicated Ultimate Modded Vampire Knight character build video by me linked as well, with a Paladin character build coming out soon. Thanks for watching Chumbas and see you soon. Stay tuned, stay healthy and stay happy. Simitar Gaming here, signing out.